This is a 2023 Chevy Corvette, and it is the best cheap supercar you can buy. Zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds and 490 horsepower makes this car an absolute bargain at about $80,000 used. MSRP on the base model one of these is only about $65,000, but good luck finding one for that price. To be honest with you, this is a used 2023 and it's selling for around $80,000, which is probably very close to what the actual MSRP was of this car. And just like most supercars, this car will hold its value. Selling at a brand new sticker price of $81,390, this car is listed used for $79,000, which is a steal because you can't find them for that cheap, but that's basically what it costs brand new. And just like most supercars, this has a completely exotic look. With the engine mounted in the rear, this front is actually a trunk. And what's interesting about this front it kind of has a little bit of a Lamborghini look. It does. Like with the with the ridges, like the, the hard angles right here. Like this looks very like Lamborghini Aventador, Huracan, all that kind of stuff. This body style is a complete change from the obvious Chevys of the past. And the extremely aggressive body lines show that. Moving to the front here, we have two front facing cameras and a carbon fiber front splitter. The coolest part about this car is popping everything. This is the front, what I like to call the frunk, the front trunk. And just Chevy's gonna let you know, don't jump in it. That's not a third seat if you yes. were wondering. So if you were really wanting to jump in this baby sized front trunk, they're letting you know it is impossible to do so. Also comes with a 12 volt outlet in here. Don't honestly know what you need that for, but that's pretty cool. Moving to the key, we do have remote start, but then we have the frunk and the trunk. You can access them both from the front key. Frog. <laughs> Moving to the back, you can also show off your engine, which is mounted beneath this glass. <sighs> the where the magic happens. Being that this is the removable top version, you can take the top off of this, put this here in the rear, and you can take it with you so if it rains, you don't have to store it in your car. Or you don't have to store it in your garage. I love the fact that Chevy with this glass has made this like a centerpiece of the car. The red and black casing on this engine looks so amazing that honestly, this is the meanest looking part of the entire car. So once again, this car is more of the base trim. It comes with 490 horsepower and the zero to 60 time is 2.9 seconds. If you jump up to the Z06 version, it can go upwards of 600 horsepower and drop about 0.3 seconds in the 60 time. Chevy obviously didn't forget in the rear. We have a camera right here coming off the top. And then we have another camera right here, as well as a quad exhaust, which looks absolutely insane. So mean, as well as parking sensors right here. Another nice little touch they did was adding the Stingray emblem right here, just because Stingrays are such an iconic part of the Corvettes. Another thing to note is these huge 20s with this gigantic set of brakes on. I mean, look at these red brake calibers. I mean, if you want to stop on a dime, I think this car can do that for you. And with the super aggressive body lines comes no door handle at first, then you pull under here, pops the door right open. That's pretty cool. One thing to note before we hop inside, this is a removable top. Like I said, it goes in the truck. Now comes the real test, being 6'5", how quickly can I get in this car? Three, two, one, I'm in. This is actually really spacious for a supercar. The amount of supercars I've been in, I can tell you this car feels fantastic. Starting from left to right, we have Bose performance speakers. We have this amazing feeling steering wheel that has this awesome octagonal shape to it, almost like a yoke. Paddle shifters, heated steering wheel, all of our controls, and then a giant dash as well as a giant display screen here. I really like how they also put all of the temperature controls and like all of your kind of auxiliary stuff all right here. It was kind of a good use of space instead of having it all like smashed underneath of the, the screen. This is a very Lamborghini feel. Yeah. Having all of your buttons right here in a row, you have your heated, cooled seats, all of your audio buttons, all of the heated and cooled seats for your passenger, as well as any of the temperature control buttons. You know, park, drive, reverse, all comes in button form just on the dash here. Yeah, and again, going back to that kind of exotic feel with like the, the stitched dashboard and everything, they really did take the extra steps to make this feel a lot more exotic. Um, which I mean, being a Corvette lover and stuff like that, it's a little tough that when they went from the front engine to the rear engine, 
it was kind of a big change, but I think they did a really good job kind of stepping up the whole luxury and uh, exotic feel of it. You're, you're one of those guys that was really sad about it. Moving to the seat here, super cool. We have the Corvette logo. This is a very Italian looking seat. This cream leather is amazing. Obviously it's perforated. It has so many different panels that it kind of goes to the aggressive lines of the entire car. I think this could be the nicest looking color combo for the interior. I'm not a red fan. I know they make a red interior. This is beautiful. It's very tastefully done. So moving back, there is no rear row, but back here we do have wireless charging. It is the 70th anniversary and we have more speakers for the uh, Bose sound system. So after all of that, this car is an absolute steal at $80,000 for its performance, for its luxury, for its fit and feel. This car is a bargain supercar. Guys, we want to give a huge shout out to Mark Martin Motors who let us film all of these cars. They have all these cars for sale. They get into the coolest, most exotic trucks, most exotic cars. It's amazing and then get you a good deal on one. Thanks so much for watching, guys.